welcome viewers to soft academy a project control and engineering software academy and consultancy my content is based on uh, there are a lot of question asked by many planners and many intermediate planners so what are their questions i have already uploaded a video that video was based on how to remove actual from updated project in primavera p6 you can uh, see that one in my description there is a link of that video have been given but in that video they, the global change is very difficult so there are three four global changes so people got mixed and they cannot do even that one so even they do not know the purpose of that one so uh, and most of cases uh, they cannot even remove the actual from their projects so I have a solution and simple solution that is very faster than this one video. So if you are facing any uh, issue like my video is very fast, so there are also options in Premiere. You know, there are also options in uh, YouTube. So you can just go in the playback speed and you can just down the speed of the video. So I will go to the videos main content and I will just first of all, I will adjust some columns. So some columns have been added uh, additionally here. And I will tell you this one, what the purpose of the column. I have a project and which project uh, uh, have uh, some finished date of, uh, uh, you can see here on the top. Also the question is, some people ask that, how can we uh, just uh, get a baseline uh, details and what are our baseline, but in our project, we don't have any baseline and we have only updated schedule and we haven't been uh, allotted or given with uh, a baseline schedule and at that stage uh, we don't have any baseline even uh, no baseline approved so the project have been done already also there is some cases like uh, uh, there is a delay analysis stage and in that stage like uh, we can consider that uh, um, any method which we, we can consider co collapse as built method so in that method uh, we have only uh, updated schedule and we want to remove uh, our uh, updated progress from our project so we can have a baseline schedule so we can detect that what uh, what was additional delays in that project and we can get a difference between updated schedule and baseline schedule. So for that case also we have to remove the progress from our project. So this video is basically uh, to convert our uh, updated schedule into baseline schedule. So the people also uh, ask the related question like uh, how to remove actual in Primavera P6 uh, and uh, if there is an error like uh, cannot set uh, status uh, to not started if activity have actual. Uh, also some people ask like how do I remove the actual start date in Primavera P6? How do you reset remaining duration and units uh, to original in Primavera P6? So also how can I undo my pr pr progress in Primavera P6? The related question like all the similar like P6, uh, how to remove uh, actuals in Primavera P6. So it, this is this is the similar question asked by many uh, people. So also there are problems like in resource assignment. Uh, if you see in an updated schedule, so uh, in updated schedule only the budgeted units like if uh, no baseline have been assigned, like if this project have been assigned, haven't been assigned with any baseline like uh, we can say here. Like if we go here and assign baseline, we can see current project uh, baseline have been assigned. So we don't have any baseline. So uh, the client is asking about that. Uh, please provide us a, a planned S curve uh, or an, a planned and actual base S curve. What was your plan and what you have actual? But in your updated schedule, you don't have any values uh, and you cannot even show a values here. Uh, that will be make a comparison between your baseline and your actual. So. Uh, are, are any, if you show here planned, even if you show here planned, the plan will be not even uh, that relative because you haven't uh, assigned a baseline if, if you because you don't have any baseline. If you have assigned the baseline also in that case, the plan value will be not shown the similar. So this is uh, the case we will study and how can we resolve and I will resolve that one very fastly and by through a global chain. So also some people ask how can do did this one by global chain because there are also other options uh, you can do that one. But there may be question that why cannot we do just manually and go here and if I just go ahead click on an activity and I want to remove the progress. If I click on that one and I will click this one so it will be uh, the progress will be removed. So why don't we uh, use this one. So if, if I do go here and remove this one, it's easy. It's, it's just similar and very simple uh, to remove the progress. But in case, for example, 
like uh, if there are an activity like we go here an activity this one is engineering activity but if there are activity which have a construction activity like this one is backfilling so if i remove this one there is an error cannot set status not started if an activity have an actuals so uh, people do like that one they go here and then actual they remove this one zero and they do a lot of stuff like that one so this is the manual work also some people may add here a column like unit percent uh, physical percent and duration percent three columns and just put the progress zero and drag down also before that one they just uh, uh, change the activity to in progress then they convert into zero and then they convert into uh, not started so this is the long process so i will go here for the short process i will go here global chain i will just create a new global chain and i will write here this global chain me, uh, means remove progress or remove actuals like that one so first of all i what i will do i will just here add here an activity status so watch the clear steps and do that one uh, with the same uh, steps i have done in my pc so activity status is equal to completed so any activity which is completed till now till date so this activity should be uh, in progress so activity is at that uh, parameter so what are the action i i want to do i want to do action same activity status so what i want to do this activity having a completed status i want to change them into in progress so first of all the activity in this row completed like this activity in, uh, all in this table so they will change into uh, in progress I will go here change so act activity having a status with a completed will be changed into in progress I will commit the changes and I will not save my log so the first step I have done already so what the second step is now I will just change here activity in progress so remember remember this is second step this is second step the first one I have already done now this is the second step in the second step I will just change activity status is equal to in progress. Now I will go here and change duration percent. So may consider that one. This stage is very important. Duration percent complete is equal to zero. So the may, the people may ask that why you are just changing duration percent complete. Maybe there is performance percent uh, like uh, physical percent or unit percent may be assigned. But if there is a uh, duration percent already is maybe five or ten because dur duration percent complete at may have uh, some parallel with units. But in some cases, if you haven't applied with the uh, uh, because uh, units is not based calculated based on duration but they have a uh, different different calculation but duration uh, is uh, parallel to uh, units in some cases when uh, you have uh, you haven't assigned with any resource s curve so i will say that duration percent complete is equal to zero i will just uh, change all 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 of them like i add uh, physical also here if there is physical assigned maybe some activity have physical percent complete uh, assigned so i will just change them to zero and i will also change uh, unit percent complete uh, also to zero if you want to add here activity percent complete is equal to zero it's your choice also you can change here uh, expenses if your project have expenses so you can also change expenses from here by changing from here like project expenses and you can do that one i will just change here so all activity which having a hundred percent progress have been changed with zero this uh, activity have a physical percent complete have zero a hundred uh, and it changed to zero this is 49 it changed to zero so i will just commit the changes and i will say no now the last step this is third one and last step and in that step i will just say that in progress activity and the same the same filter will be applied so this one is the filter section and i will just go here add here in the below activity status is equal to not started so this step after completing this step like i will apply the change and i will commit the change and i will say no and i will press ok every activity will be not started so what the next step is if your project have been assigned with any constraint at the mid section when you are just doing schedule and you need some schedule some verified schedule so you have to do just like though go here and add a column like here you will add here a primary constraint like you have assigned any constraint so if you have assigned any constraint and if you have assigned like a, a primary constraint so you can go here and change that one apply and uh, okay so if your uh, constraint is assigned remove constraint from here and assign some uh, relative uh, uh, you can say relationship which which may drive its date so because you need a baseline schedule so if there is a constraint assigned maybe uh, in the date of uh, updated date so this will be uh, very trouble for you uh, you will not get your baseline the second step the most important setting in the calculation uh, like in setting uh, wait well, i haven't select the project right now i will select here the project and in the 
calculations so you have to reset your remaining duration and units to original so it's like that one what the remaining duration uh, uh, and units in my project this project so it will be uh, like equal to my original so original do not change also there is one limitation more because I have to tell you everything. I will not uh, just uh, hide everything because after doing that one, you may ask a question in comments after you, maybe you contact me with my WhatsApp number. Uh, my WhatsApp number have been given in the description of uh, this video. You can contact, but not related uh, to that one, which I have already told in my, uh, I, I have already told in my videos. So you, you again ask me the same question in my uh, uh, WhatsApp, uh, my WhatsApp support. So, uh, do not ask the same question. You can ask different question which haven't been uh, told on the, my videos. So we, we will explain you that one uh, clearly and uh, without any charges. So also you can go to a visit over to, to website. There is also uh, WhatsApp uh, um, support have been given. So you can also contact through that one also. You can email uh, to us like info at the rate of So uh, what I was just going uh, through it because activity like the activities which have uh, like uh, when you update the activity so there is a different original duration i will show you the other similar same project and you will got my point and here so this will be not implemented on any recovery schedule in that recovery schedule you manage uh, for uh, planned value and is equal to earned value or you have just managed your schedule percent complete and performance percent complete and you change your original duration what i mean exactly please understand uh, exactly uh, like this one original duration is four and the remaining duration is two and actually 61 so while you update an activity so you can see here blue line getting more because it's uh, normal practice in every schedule it's, it's just the same and same going on so i will just explain you that one uh, that if an activity like you just manage here like in this activity the schedule percent complete and performance will be different and it will be completely changed because this is also uh, wrong updated but if this activity we consider in progress so all the in progress activity having a percentage uh, may have a different uh, remaining duration and original duration so before doing that one you have to consider that option like i show you uh, i have done this this one this one project and uh, Yes, this pro project I have removed the progress, uh, removed the progress yet now, but I will uh, haven't, uh, I, I have uh, just uh, activity go uh, to not stated, not stated. So before uh, just going for the data date change, you have to do that one, rem reset remaining or duration and units to original. Do not uh, do that one, uh, reset original duration and units to remaining. So do not change that one to remaining. So if you do that one to remaining, so an activity having uh, five days original duration will be uh, changed to two, maybe three, but the remaining duration have been given. So it will not consider its progress right uh, there. So uh, we'll go here in the dates. So you can see here the date uh, have been already reversed to 18 of December 2023. So we'll go, we'll change uh, our data date to 23 October 2022. Like we will go here because we have to make the baseline. I will not run in the same data date and uh, I will go here into 2022. Here 2022, uh, like this is 2022 October 23 and select and now I will schedule the schedule will be go behind I will go in the project so you can see project plan date that it is same and my must finish by is 20 uh, April and my uh, finish date is 29 so I have uh, 19 days of float right now uh, 28 days of float so this is what I have I got my baseline before that one there was minus 171 days float you can see in my other schedule which I have made the copy so there was that was an updated schedule and in that schedule there was 207 minus uh, float negative float uh, people do not consider that negative float they just uh, comment uh, something else so they consider that one is very alarming but there is different concept about that one uh, i will explain you something how this is based on total float total float what is total float and how it's calculated so this is this different uh, discussion and we will debate on uh, some some uh, other video so the last one i can show you why the total float is 22 days maybe because uh, uh, while you have scheduled for baseline and in that baseline uh, the, the, the total float should be zero the question may be asked from the people and in the comments maybe somebody asked here so it is maybe there may be chances, chances that some videos uh, some uh, uh, activities have a different duration so the duration I have squeezed out or maybe 
uh, later on in the start of the project there was a uh, the finish date was 29 march and it was just changed after that one uh, after uh, because uh, due to commence uh, due to commencement of project or maybe this schedule have been submitted uh, before 28 days of the commencement of the project so there may be a chances of maybe 22 days before so uh, the schedule may consider that this project may be start after uh, 22 or 23 days so uh, he just make a completion of first activity after 22 days so it's like that one so you can just uh, uh, do one thing you just uh, uh, add uh, 22 days into your start date and uh, your float will be zero so that one you can consider as your baseline and after that one baseline considering you can see here resource assignment so in that resource assignment like uh, uh, but the units you can see here uh, have been changed to 2022 and 2023. So you may ask that before that one it was the same but it was not the uh, same. You can see here my same schedule copy. It was in 2020 uh, like uh, you can see here. Uh, it was a different like uh, it was not uh, not the similar as uh, I told you that uh, this one by two units and this one you know you can see here this one by two units and that by two units are not same because in that by two units like you can see here uh, a different value I can, can open both when combined because probably P6 have a function uh, we can open both one so maybe some somebody maybe ask that budget units will be remain same so maybe there will there will be a question so what I can do here mm. so group and sort here and I want to show my all projects here and here I will go here in WBS and now in the WBS I will show only level one and I will go here and resources here. So there, there may be a lot of uh, setting ID name, resource type, okay. So here I have two projects here. I have opened combinedly and now you can comparison both on this one is updated schedule and this one is my uh, just baseline schedule which I have created in the updated schedule the finish date go ahead uh, we have a different uh, by chain units uh, so that one is changed uh, other than uh, after that one but I updated this schedule so this one change into by chain actual so it's converted like that one so this is my today's content about how can you convert your updated schedule into your uh, baseline schedule and a similar which the question I have explained you in the uh, start of the video. So thanks for watching my video. You can contact us through our WhatsApp number or email. We are available for you. And if you have a suggestion of any content, you can uh, write a com uh, comment below in this video and related to that videos, uh, that content related videos uh, link have been given in the description of this video. Thanks for watching Software Demi. Meet you in our next video within 10 days.